venture capital method as you guys might have uh, read online or researched about is essentially a, a VC's expectation of what the company will be sold at three years, five years, six, seven years into the future, whatever their investment horizon might be discounted that discounting that value to current date net of the investments required to realize the terminal value is what the VCs the attribute or uh, assign uh, the company's current value today uh, just to explain you with an example now let's just assume there's a company with this uh, stream of uh, profits uh, first Two years uh, as any startup would have you make a million dollars in loss of first year four hundred thousand dollars in the second year this is the investment required to sustain the operations for at least a five-year period uh, net of roughly 6.5 million so let's just say you'll need at least seven million dollars from external investors uh, to sustain the business through its exit uh, as you can see, we have an uh, equity capital raised uh, input in here in row 13. Uh, we are assuming that the company will be able to raise a $2 million round in year one and a $5 million round in year two. The first round of $2 million, we, the company will have to give about 20% stake to the new investors. Ergo, if you divide the $2 million by a 20% stake, you get what is what we call a post money valuation of roughly 10 million dollars you subtract the 2 million from the post money valuation is what you'll uh, and you'll arrive at the pre money valuation of the company this is uh, what the investors have valued the company at uh, during this round say series seed round you can do the same analytics uh, in year three when the company is getting a five million dollar uh, uh, capital for a 15% stake and the implied post money valuation would be roughly 33 million dollars subtract the investment amount and you get a pre money valuation now let's assume that this company goes for an uh, exit in the form of an IPO M&A or some other uh, successful uh, exit scenario and is able to realize a, a multiple a PE multiple or EBR multiple of 15x so if you divide that uh, year five profits by the multiple that this company will be able to realize, you'll get a value of roughly $90 million. Just to keep in mind, this is 19 million at the end of the fifth year, way out in the future. Uh, you have to, the company has to attain certain milestones, commercial and financial to realize this value. What, an egg, uh, what a VC investor would do, you would, uh, you'll get the 90 million uh, as your starting point Obviously, there will be some some extra or ex, extraordinary effort going into the multiple that you will use as an input. <clears throat> Current scenario, how the market will change over the few years and what are the other competitors within this space, not only today, but three years or five years from now is some of the factors that VCs would analyze in assigning a multiple to the terminal value of the company. Uh, let's just assume the company is able to be sold at a 90 million dollar uh, sale price uh, you have to discount it today uh, by the uh, uh, by a risk reward uh, ratio or a discount rate that is reflective of the company's risk today uh, to get to the present value of the company for now as uh, I've assumed a 60% discount rate might seem high but given that the company has just formed and would have barely any commercial success or financial success, it is in line with the uh, research studies published by uh, VC return associations or the expected return by a venture capital list investing so early into the business. We get a present value of roughly $8.5 million. So you divide 90 million by the number of years uh, by the discount rate, uh, the power of the number of years passed between today and the exit year. Your present value of your exit uh, sale price is $8.5 million. But as I uh, said before, this $8.5 million will not be realized or the $90 million will not be realized 
unless you make certain investments for the company to sustain its operations. You have to subtract that investment from the uh, present value of your uh, company's potential exit price to get your net equity value as of today. Uh, one, I, I've kept this calculation simple for now, but ideally you would want to present value 5 million at a disc different discount rate so and $2 million at a discount, different discount rate and 50000 at a different discount rate. To that extent, uh, your equity value might be a little higher than $1.5 million. Just to keep things simple, I've just subtracted the entire amount. So this is essentially in a nutshell what uh, VC investors do uh, to get to the implied pre-money valuation today. An angel investor or a CDC investor would follow the same route to invest whatever one two million dollars that they're planning to invest uh, one thing that you as an appraiser should uh, keep in mind or realize is after you conclude this you would want to check your implied exit scenarios how much value or how much return are they realizing uh, upon the exit price that you've mentioned so investor two over here, uh, the exit time it will have uh, a stake of roughly 15%. 90 into 15 would be roughly $13.5 million. So this VC was able to realize a 2.7x return at a 64% IRR uh, in the span of two years. Uh, a second aspect of this uh, from an entrepreneur side is usually the queries that I get from startup uh, founders is how much dilution will I be subjected to or how do I forecast the potential dilution at the end of a third funding round, a fourth funding round or even at an exit. So just to give you a simple tool or a template as to how you can go about it. Uh, the over here I've tried to model the company's potential dilution at the end of a successful exit and even at the end of individual rounds so that the founder gets to know whether this whether he should he or she should be okay with the dilution that the vc investors are uh, demanding or requesting let's say that your current uh, so let's say your current comp uh, round comes at a dilution of 20 percent so you have a two million dollar round at a dilution of 20 percent will get you a post money of 10 and a pre money of 8 million uh, same logic pre-investment you don't have and uh, you don't have any seed investors the entire money comes from your seed investors as you can see this is your pre money cap pre transaction cap table and this is your post transaction cap table 20 percent of your company is now owned by external investors Uh, let's say the second investment round comes at uh, with the five million dollar uh, investment at a for a 15 percent dilution so your post money would be roughly 33 million dollars as we saw earlier and a pre-million of the pre-money of 20 33 minus 5. over here uh, before the transaction was actually uh, just like 80 20 which you saw over here but after the transaction, the new investors get 15%, which is 5 million divided by the post money amount. And the other in, uh, investors, including the founders, also dilute their stakes. So the 80 went down to 67 and 20 went down to 17. You can do this n number of times for a series A, series B, series C, series D to see at how much will each round dilute you just have a few sets of assumptions that you need to put in and it will be fairly easy for at least uh, to establish a range from a founder's perspective at the end of the term or uh, the company's life cycle let's say it's sold at 90 million dollars you would use the last known cap table that you have after your last transaction 67.9 17 and 15.1 same thing and then you can assess the potential value that you'll make will be 67 times you can assess what the value would be at the end of the uh, exit period be 67.9 times 90 million dollars so your 
expect you could potentially realize roughly 61 million dollars in uh, proceeds so that's the venture capital method and the dilution approach that hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and share the uh, knowledge amongst your friends and peers if you have any questions or comments please drop your uh, queries in the comment boxes below or if you need these materials please respond with your email addresses and i'll shoot them over asap thank you for your time guys